And uh, Ralph, thank you for the criticism. Mm. All right, and, and Eric is on his way. He's got a little something going. It sounds like a lot of jealous people out there. <laughs> Three. All right. <laughs> Nevertheless, he's got something going on. He's got his own radio show. Thank you, Eric. Okay. All right, bye for now. Bye. For... <laughs> Ow. Shut up, Ralph. Who, who has a, who's a hater of Eric, like a player hater? Who's got it worse than Eric? Like... What do you mean? I mean, like, uh, you said there's people jealous, but I'm wondering who it would be. I'm thinking maybe you are. Oh, okay. The way you're attacking but them. Actually, you're right, because I don't have my own show. Right. He's got his own show. He yeah. watches TV all day and hangs out with you. Well, he's turning it into a career. Look at him. Yeah. Right, Eric? Now he's asking people to watch TV with him. <laughs> you know, Eric, I was thinking you needed a catchy name for your show. Do you have any ideas? Eric the Retard. Okay. I don't like that one. That's over years. Yeah, I don't like that, Eric. Eric? That's fine. That's fine. I didn't say it. Any other ideas, Eric? Do you have any other ideas for a name? Eric, the piece of crap. How about, <laughs> um... <laughs> That's good. Uh, <laughs> how about... Uh, this is a good name for a show. How about the mind-numbingly dull hour? <laughs> All right, listen, i got to get the pen. Eric, whatever you call it, they're just jealous. You've got something going on and they don't. And feel better. What is wrong with you? It was two hours already. <laughs> what do you, uh, through that. Eric, what do you have wrong with you? What is going on? I either have a cold or a flu. All right, well, take care you of yourself. You don't leave the house. How would you get sick? Listen, it happens. Uh, you don't leave the house either, Ralph. Uh, All right, thank and you. Ralph yeah, we're talking to yeah, another not... <laughs> oh, fine. Ralph. <laughs> All right, thank you, Eric, and thank you, Ralph. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Boy, Eric, I tell you what, it's got to be annoying that Ralph gets in on every one of your phone calls. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Yeah, I like when you put Eric. Can I just? I'm a big fan of Eric after like eight o'clock when I get up. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Please put me on earlier. <laughs> not up. <laughs> Well, okay, and 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 for the record, what do you want to be called on Eric, your on, Eric, when you're on the show? Eric, the butt fucker. Eric, uh, make a final decision on this now. Final decision right now. Eric, the disrespectful piece of crap. All right, All right final that's decision. It. He's All right. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Thank you, and good luck with the show. Seriously. All right. And I'm going to try and get this thing together for you, and I'll tell you what it is next week. Bye. Uh, but, yeah. right, bye. Okay. <laughs> right. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye. Hi, Ralph the Idiot. Ralph the Idiot. Oh, Ralph the Idiot and Eric. The disrespectful <laughs> piece of shit. I don't know. The show, is, the show you know, it needs a little work. It's going to start <laughs> humming, I think. I, you sound a little bit jealous. I, I am tell jealous. You. I uh, when I called it mind-numbingly dull, I was clearly jealous. You can see you can see the kid sounds like he's onto something, yeah. and you're getting, uh, you're getting a little envious. No, cause, yeah, cause you're right, because every thought in my head is negative. Like I was going to say, <laughs> you could call it the show that will make you shove needles in your ears hour. Uh, yes, Mike, in White Plains. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, now. It sounds like it sounded like the first lunar landing that uh, that that show. Aired. <laughs> hey, Alex. One small step for man. Son. <laughs> Like the lunar landing. It's like they haven't they haven't perfected the phone yet with that show. All the echo and everything. Yeah, it's just it's all over the place. One <laughs> tiny man for man. Alec, what do you think? What do you think of the show? The show. <laughs> yeah, uh, the echo was wild. Uh, I <laughs> and this guy sucks. <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> this guy should have gave up before he started. <laughs> <laughs> That's some show. As people are like smashing their head into a dashboard. <laughs> what if everyone love, died and he was the only guy who had a show? I love, I love this. I love that Ralph thought there was someone not watching American Idol in that. <laughs> and wanting to just hear it from Aaron. Uh I hate oh, these kids kid. who come in and think they're like, uh, what's his name, that Ryan kid and all that. Ugh. Ugh. That's a song by Little Big Town. Ugh. It's Little Big Town. <laughs> That's pretty, he's doing pretty good because this song is originally done by a quartet. Two guys, two girls. Wow. But he needs to do something with the eyebrows. Wow, they're really fucking. 
<laughs> the lunar landing. I mean, yeah, it really is like it sounds like we're technology got sent back 50 this years. This is the first phone. It's like it's like uh, Edison's first recording uh, after he invented the phone. Yeah, like, right. Mary had a little laugh. Mr. Watson. <laughs> What did Watson say to the? I thought Watson. I thought Edison said Mary had a little lamb. Watson, come here, I need you. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> Watson, <laughs> come here, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Uh, you know what? I I, I want to get tapes of that show. <laughs> I listen to it all the time. It's good. I'm going to tune in next week. You're right. I am jealous. Yeah. You are. I see. He's got something going on. Yeah. Here. See, it's become parody already. Don't forget, you have stuff going on, too. <laughs> There's room enough for everyone in show yeah, business. Like, a, like uh, obesity. i got to put that kid in a movie. We did a gig in Syracuse, and it was at this Turning Stone Casino place. And the talent ex coordinator was the sm most smoking hot chick. She was unbelievable. Like it, yeah. It snuck up on you. She had, like... A pants suit on, like a business suit, but what a rack and and like what a. Where like, was this? This is up in Syracuse at this yeah. casino. All right. In other words, when a, a comic or a singer comes in, she has to greet them and show you your dressing room. Right. And uh, I dispatched Teddy, and he found out that she was engaged. Mm -hmm. What? But, but oh, you're kidding! You actually. But she, yeah, I, I figured that. Why? My God, let's see. <laughs> well, that ain't married. But she was so hot, Howard, and she had a look like this Rachel Bilson. She had straight black hair. That's when he when he said it. I. I thought of this, and like the nicest ass, and you know what I did? I f***ing jerked off to her that night. Wow, good for you. And what I did was, great stuff. I was kind of lazy <laughs> up in my room, because I was in a hotel. I tried, I tried Eric's the bed. Oh, no. You, you the bed? And I love it. <laughs> you did? Oh, you're kidding. I tell you, rubbed, I don't you know. You rubbed into the bed? Like, I pretended the pillow was the chick, and I was like kissing the pillow. Oh, stop <laughs> oh, it. You got that bed? Were you drunk at least? <laughs> <laughs> I was a little lit. How does Teddy? Say. How does Teddy find out if she's married? <laughs> yeah, that that was the sound. <laughs> yeah, is that the first time you ever jerked up like that? Um, no. As a matter of fact, at the W Hotel in L.A., I did years ago because their beds are amazing. Does it your chase? No, I guess if you have to do it a lot, but you know, no. Uh, I, I it was just I don't know. It was. It felt all right, but yeah. you can see why you get, it gets all something. bunched up and stuff. You rub into a pillow and you shoot your load. No, 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 the on the sheets. On, on the, the sheets. Like, so uh, my face is in a pillow. Do you lay in your own splooge <laughs> afterwards? <laughs> no, you don't do that. Well, no, you gotta you gotta sort of get up and maneuver, and at this weight, it's hard. Where yeah. do you come into? Uh, in the, the sheets. <laughs> oh. Well, I, and I, I mean, you know, look. I, you all, do? I mean, right on the sheet? I, and, I, and I made sure that the maids were Mexican. When the maids are Mexican, oh. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> Did you actually kiss the pillow and everything? I mean, I was kidding. I think you're the, making this you're up. You're so romantic. I mean, the pillow was the girl. The pillow was, uh, her name was uh, Lauren. Lauren. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lauren. I can't remember. Oh, oh Lauren. Oh. <laughs> but it was one of those things where I may never jerk off to her again, but it was like she was so hot that night. And right. she would now, have been like, how does Teddy find out if she's married? You know what? You got to ask Teddy because he came back and he went, uh, she was walking in before the second show. And, I mean, I'm going to... I looked as cool as I'm ever going to look in front of a girl. A bunch of people were lined up to take my picture. Right. She had to take the picture. They had, like, beer league to sign. And right. I mean, if I'm not going to look cool, I mean, that's the coolest I'm ever going to look. Right. And uh, she uh, she came walking in for the second show, and I and I gave Teddy a look, and he went, engaged. And I was like, all right. And I don't so know how I was found. I don't know 
Donald Why Trump. Why does that stop you? I don't know. I mean, what? I mean, look, you're you're smoother than I am. I don't know. I'm no smooth. I don't know how to. What am I gonna? That's I gotta make that sleazy move of look. I don't care. I don't care about your fiance. <laughs> Tell her I didn't. I didn't have any intentions. I just wanted to. You know, say hello. And... I didn't have any intentions, Robin. You lie. What, what naive what world saying. are you living in? No, you lie. I'm, um, you know. I love that you jerked off into the mattress like Eric the Midget. Speaking of Eric the Midget. I got to tell Eric it's not bad when well, I Well, I got to tell you something. You have something in common. Now, speaking of Eric the Midget, I've got plenty to say to him if he, if he ever calls in. Why? Because he was telling me how his g girlfriend, Kendra, is not... Oh, wait. Here he is. Give me a Give me a second. Eric, you there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? You know your so-called girlfriend who's so, you know, not into porn and everything? <laughs> right. Okay. Your, 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 current, your pillow's name is Kendra right now, right? Okay, hold on. Because you got to be faithful. <laughs> By the way, Artie says your method is good. It's not bad, man. I, I don't know if I do it all the time, though, Eric, because like Howard says, it could get your, you could get off chafed and up down there with your you get chafed junk he's a pro yeah. he's developed a cow eric how do you keep your from getting chafed i don't know you know when you're jerking off into the bed hey is how many times can you go for all right a guy why the hell are you going off subject all right all right eric here it is <laughs> kendra, sorry kendra's still your girlfriend yes okay according to this guy and he sent me pictures she was working a strip club this weekend that doesn't make her a porn star. It says adult star Kendra. Oh. And it says, uh, here, I even got the pictures. I printed them out. Tonight, Eric the Midget's girlfriend, Kendra, meet her. It says, look <laughs> at the billboard. Are you serious? Meet her before he does. Oh, get out of here. It says, <laughs> here. <laughs> you dope. Adult entertainer Kendra. At some show club. What, what does she do in this club? Guys! No, no, is she completely she nude? She doesn't f*** Blows them. No, she doesn't blow them. Handy. No. Hey, Howard. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate to be a buzz Right. But I called the owner of the club on yeah. Friday because we were getting a lot of reports about this. And he said he's just a big fan of the show. And he did this? And he did it kind of as a joke. Because I was going to say, this But she supposedly made up. is a dancer in Arizona. So, so was she there? No. Oh, this is a fake. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is not true. So Eric's true. girlfriend is still pure, according you know what we know from now, right. right now. Hold on, Howard. There's two things going on. There's the, there's the sign outside, and then there's an ad in the paper. The ad in the paper appears to be true. She does allegedly dance, but she wasn't there that night. Do you know if she's a dancer or not, Eric? She has mentioned it. Oh. She does dance, so she's right. a stripper. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. I but, just want to clear that but, up because he's hey, making wait a minute. Right. Let me clarify something. Okay. She told me she only takes her top off and has pasties on when the top comes off. Maybe she's Does she still... give lap dances? I don't know if she stays just on stage or not. She has not mentioned that. Hey, by the way, uh, there was confusion on our show the other day, Eric. What do you want to be called now? Uh, and, and please, just make it clear to us, okay? Eric the Complaining Midget. Oh! Eric okay. the Complaining Midget? Okay. okay. Or do you want no, to change... Oh, that's not it. Eric the Actor. Oh, Eric the Actor? Are you sure? Or you have some other name in mind? Eric the Completely Unfunny Midget. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> I like Which that do you want, Eric the Actor or Eric the Completely Unfunny Midget? Eric the Actor. Are you 100% sure. sure? Eric, the defensive midget. The what? The what? The defensive midget. That's not... That's a long one. I don't like that name. I'd rather you be called Eric, the midget. That's retard Richard and Cell putting together voice clips. Oh, not me. really? Yes. Well, all right, so why don't you clarify now, since it's you, what do you want to be called? Eric, the gay midget. Eric the gay midget. Oh, right. well, hell no. You don't want to be called that? Or you do? Why do you say it and then you take it back? That's not me. Oh, it, it sounds is like you. you. Are you what, 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 what is it, a ventriloquist in the room? <laughs> All right, let's clear this up. What do you want to be called? Eric the midget. 
Okay. I don't think, I, Eric, it's a smidge I don't like. I'm, I'm actually getting suggestions from the room to have you call me something that started this weekend. What Eric, oh, well, let's hear that. Eric the Major. Eric the Major. Ooh. Okay, Eric the Major. I wonder how no, that started. That's not it. Oh, if that's not it, then what is it? Eric the Loudmouth Major. <laughs> Eric the Loudmouth Midget. Is that it? Will you stop doing that over top of me? Dude? All right. I'm sorry. Say the name. Eric the Obnoxious Midget. Uh, all right. Is that what you want to go with, Eric? The, that started this weekend, and who started calling you Eric the Obnoxious Midget? You're the one being obnoxious. I'm sorry. Go ahead and tell us the name you want. Eric the Pathetic Chicken. And lame-ass, loudmouth, defensive, stupid, annoying, screwed up, and retarded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, Let me get this right. Robin, I don't repeat know how that. I could Did remember that all that. Eric, that's too long. I can't go with that one. I'm not the one saying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what? Then say the name you want to be called. Eric the Pathetic Midget. <laughs> okay, all I can right. do that one. All right, we'll do that. Eric Stop the Stop saying that. Me. <laughs> well, then, for God's sake, just tell me the name you want to use. Eric the Retarded Midget. Okay. Okay. Eric the Retarded Midget. I'll go with anything you want. Stop pushing those buttons, you. I'm not doing anything. Just say the name. Eric the Ridiculous Midget. <laughs> okay. Well, you change it every time, Eric. Eric, we're going to go with Eric the Ridiculous Midget, and that's it. Let's not, let's move on. Now, what did you want to say? I was saying that they are calling me Eric the songwriter because a friend of mine named Brandon Giles and I are working on some songs for Kendra. Oh, Kendra Let sings? me hear. Let me hear his song. Oh, no, no, no. Kendra didn't sing. Good God, you're an idiot, Robin. You said you're working on some songs for Kendra. Maybe she's singing them. Yeah. In her honor. Oh, a song for Kendra. Well, let me hear the song. Sing it. I don't have it completely worked out yet. We're uh, still... What's the hook? What's the name of the song? Can you hum a few bars? The name of the song is Our Two Hearts Will Prove Them Wrong. You guys being the them. <laughs> heart to heart will... No, our two My hearts... My heart on will prove you wrong. <laughs> will prove them wrong. <laughs> our the my little midget heart on. You have two hearts? I didn't know no, that. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> no. I don't. I don't mean to be. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to belabor this, but everyone's confused as to what we should call you. What do you want to be called? Eric, the rude, obnoxious, and annoying midget. All right, I like I that. I think those are too long. When he gets a, you know, Eric the song for. Uh, yeah, just do uh, Eric. A simpler name would be better. Eric, the screwed up midget. Okay, okay. Eric, the screwed up midget. It is. Oh, I don't like Eric the songwriter. <laughs> I don't hear a song. I, yeah, you can't be Eric yeah. the songwriter. Where's the song? <laughs> well, that will be in probably about a day or so. And you can't have a name just for once writing a song. you got to have a hit song before uh, you're Eric the songwriter. Right. So you better come up with another name. Do you have another suggestion? Eric the stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, how, how about uh, Eric the bed <laughs> 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 Do you like that one? Or do you like something else? Eric the stupid Midget. All right. At least I'm not so fat I wouldn't break a bed. <laughs> Did you break the bed already when you I, jerked off? I didn't break the bed. How dare you add that highlight to Wouldn't it? it be funny if, like, <laughs> humping the bed and then, and then the bed went through the floor and landed on somebody below him? <laughs> he, he wound up in another apartment. I don't mind telling you. I was jerking off and it landed on another bed. I don't mind telling you that would be very embarrassing. <laughs> Dana and I broke my bed. Oh, is that right? <laughs> we did. <laughs> and I was kind of thin then. I was Boy, from... she's athletic. <laughs> she had put on a couple of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> she knew how to handle you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Oh, yeah. She broke the bed. She said, Artie, you can't have to The bed is broke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the couch. <laughs> Eric? She was in there with a saw earlier. <laughs> Eric, when will you sing the entire song that you wrote for Kendra? Maybe by Thursday. Can you give us a few of the lyrics? Um, uh, no. I'm a freak. You're not. <laughs> wait a minute. You just came up with a title? And what? And, and when you... Uh, oh, wait. I uh, have the lyrics, but I'm not going to 
give you any of the lyrics till you hear them on Thursday. Uh -huh. You you wrote the lyrics? My friend Brandon Giles and I did. All right, so when, when you're listed as the songwriter, what name will you use as a songwriter? Eric the Gay Midget. <laughs> All right. Okay, so on the lyric sheet itself, it'll say Eric the Gay Midget. Amazing. And that Styles guy. <laughs> and what is your friend's name? Brandon Giles. Giles. So it'll say Eric the Gay Midget <laughs> and Brandon Giles. That's good. That's no, good. That should get attention. Right. That's not going to get on there because... It's a song about a girl. How's that gay? Right. Now, is this a parody? Are you doing this to a popular uh, tune, or did you write the music as well? No, Bra Brandon Giles did that. I <laughs> see. So it'll say music by Brandon Giles and lyrics by Brandon Giles and Eric the Who. Eric the chicken shit midget. <laughs> okay. All right. How about Eric the guy with PJ pants to his dick? <laughs> 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 hey, Eric, you owe Artie an apology. You owe Artie an apology. The Giants won. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm loving what are you it. What talking about? I said that they were the team I was going to pull for. Oh. No, you didn't. I don't recall you ever agreeing with me. On Thursday, fat ass. So what about now? <laughs> He's on fire today. <laughs> Hey, Eric, uh, I will give your pl uh, show a plug. It's really uh, something you must do if you're a Howard Stern Show fan. Eric evidently has an Internet idol show. idol show where when American Idol is airing, which it will air tonight, Eric and his female sidekick do commentary uh, during the show. <laughs> now, Eric, are you all geared up for tonight? Are you prepared? Yes, we worked out all the technical problems. Now, again, do you rehearse by looking at something else first? <laughs> yes. To get there, were, mode, there, like... there were technical problems. Uh, there was a lot of echo and stuff. Now, did you work out what your co-hostess will call you? What name will she call you? Eric the Major. Is that what you are on that show? <laughs> So no, on this, that show, you don't use major Eric. Cox. You don't use Eric the actor on that. You just say Eric the Major Cox. No. <laughs> well, if you don't use that, what name does she call you? Eric the obnoxious midget. All right. Oh, okay. Is there anything you get as bad as hosting a show like uh, I don't know basketball? You play basketball to prepare for that fucking that bad? Well, you suck at being funny. <laughs> I, no, I thought I was just being very funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want to uh, hear Eric's show, I'll give you a sample of the last show, so it'll get your appetite wet. I don't mind doing that for Eric. He's you a got friend a of mine. Clips? Uh, this is uh, Eric from his own show from uh, last week. So while you have American Idol on, this I suppose, do you turn down the sound on American Idol and listen to your show? How does it work, Eric? What do you recommend the listeners do? Uh, I guess they could listen to both, you know. I don't know. It's I've seen whatever they stumped prefer you. to do. After hearing the show, Eric, uh, uh, Pfizer stocks dipped because of an incredible, uh, <laughs> an incredible, incredible lack in the sales of Ambien. <laughs> well, here yeah, he I is. Think, I think the same could be said about this show sometimes, though. So. Here is Eric, the uh, actor. <laughs> or what? Or, or whatever you want to be called, Eric the Gay Midget, whatever it is you're calling yourself these days. Uh, here is Eric during the American Idol show. He's annoyed about something. What the hell? <laughs> That's it? No. I can't believe this is almost the end of the show. They end with this. They oh, hey. goofy looking. We're listening. This is when what? Yeah, down to interrupt. Eric, we're getting into the show. When that goofy-looking Asian guy came in with the, that weird outfit. Uh, you were upset Asian. that you felt the ending to American Idol wasn't appropriate. Was this the wrong thing to do, to end it in a uh, humorous fashion? Well, they, the two nights in a row, they end with a wacko. Oh, I see. All right. Uh, here's Eric. Now, the reason it sounds like he's finished, there's some technical problem. With oh, the show. Okay. okay. Here we go. Let's start it again. This is an actual audio clip from Eric's internet radio show. What the hell? 
can't believe this is almost the end of the show. They end with this. Alrighty. <laughs> that was it. Watch, watch him be like, like have a really good voice. That would be too funny. It's like a lunar landing. I just don't know what's it happened. Them, hopefully, you wouldn't continue to look like that. That dude is no way under 28 years old. There's no way. No. I'm trying to figure out what Asian nationality. He definitely looks Asian, but I can't tell what. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Age 44. Good one, Ted Bell, Liberace. <laughs> Fascinating show. Uh, as you can see, it's almost like a lunar landing when the two of them. Yeah, because I don't even think it, there's no connection there at all. I would have turned off the show several times thinking it was over. Master, do you hear us? <laughs> yes, you're loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> One small step for man. One giant step for mankind. <laughs> That's some show, Eric. So you say all the technical difficulties are worked out? Yeah, we worked on them last night. I like when Eric goes, What the? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> One very small man. <laughs> All right, so uh, tonight everyone should tune in. And how do they get to your website? www.jfsc.tv. All right, and and when they tune in, who, who are they going to hear on the radio? Eric the Stupid Magic. Okay. Right, good enough, and that's what we will refer to you as. Eric the Actor. Oh, Eric the Act, do you want to go with? Are you definitely sure, or do you have another name in mind? Eric the Bleak Tardy Midget. <laughs> All right, then go with that and then make and that what's the your final. co-host name? And, and, Gina. And, Zena? No, Gina. Oh, Gina. <laughs> As in Vagina? All right, no. Eric, good luck with the show tonight. We'll be sure to uh, play some clips tomorrow and see how <laughs> you've done and see if the technical problems have been worked out. How many times did he talk to his girlfriend this weekend? Quite a few. You can't tell me. I mean, it was a long weekend. Did you talk right. to her every day? That thing I was arranging for Eric, I, it didn't come through. Oh, really? Yeah, I was going to actually arrange for him to be on the red carpet for the oh. Rambo. Oh, you're kidding. Premiere the Rambo premiere? In Los Angeles. And that didn't work out? No. Oh. They have a strict no policy. Oh, yeah, we didn't know. So, they, cause so, they, you, they said, so, you would, so you wouldn't be able to go anywhere near there, huh, Artie? <laughs> I, they said to me, well, who are you going to send? And, and uh, Oh, you had to answer. <laughs> and I didn't know what name to give them. What name should I have given them, Eric? Eric, the brood, obnoxious, and annoying midget. Yeah, well, I gave them the wrong name. Oh. Right? They don't need that. <laughs> no, it's not. Why did they reject Eric? Uh, no, it wasn't Eric. It was that we couldn't get the promotion together, but it looked like it was coming together, and oh. he was going to be there, and he'd get to meet, you know, Sylvester Stallone and hang out backstage wow. and all that. Hey, uh, how about cool. Eric yeah. the dye-haired midget who thinks he has a girlfriend? There's no thinking about it. I do. What are you guys... T I mean, I don't know how you're a girlfriend and boyfriend. She must be burning inside to have you, you know, make love to her at this point, because you guys haven't even physically met yet, right? True, we haven't, but... Is there, is there any discussion that she might come see you, or you might go see her? Yeah, we're working on that. When do you think that'll happen? Tish above? <laughs> what? When do you think it'll happen? Soon. No. Well, I, 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 would, I can't even imagine what uh, that'll yeah, be like. Yeah, if you were Eric, wouldn't you be in Arizona already? The first time you meet her physically, you know, face-to-face, -face, what do you want her to call you? Eric, the stupid midget. Okay. No, that's not romantic. Don't do that, man. You're going to blow it. You're going to blow it. 
What does she call you? Do you have, like, pet names for each other? Yeah. Eric the lame-ass midget. <laughs> That's what she calls you? <laughs> I can't believe she calls you that. Yeah, I would break up with her. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, she thinks it's... No, that's not what she calls you. What does she call you? Eric the chicken midget. <laughs> She's got a I, sense of humor on her. Last week I told you what she called me. What did she call you? Sweetheart, sweetie, uh, also honey. No, that's very What do you romantic. call her? She's like beautiful angel and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. okay, right. Do you, uh, you know, talk I, on the phone or are you typing to each other? Both. Oh. They're constantly typing and... <laughs> You know, I can't uh, make fun of that. A, a, a sweetheart angel, that's nice. That is nice. <laughs> does she ever, like, get really, like, when, sometimes when she's, like, having phones with you, does she ever play anything strange? Eric, the completely unfunny midget. Yeah. That never happened. <laughs> Well, make up your mind. All right, Eric, I got to run. Uh, I, see, I think you seeing each other in that <laughs> sentence, uh, the problem lies, the fact that she has vision. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, like, you're something to look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to win any beauty contests either, but, I mean, come on. All right, Eric, I got to go. Good luck with the show tonight, you and uh, Gina, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right? Okay. All right. Bye for Ta-ta. now. Ta-ta. Bye. Ta-ta. <laughs> oh, I see uh, Eric the Midget's on the phone. Uh, did you listen to his show? No, I, I completely ignored American Idol last night. Well, first of all, Eric the Midget's out of control. So uh, I'll give you a whole... Let me, let, me, let, me give you a, let me give you a a uh, thing. And don't let me forget to get Jackie's uh, voicemail for Fred oh, so you okay. can hear it. Uh, but first of all, Jillian Barbary, who is the host of Good Morning L.A., mm-hmm. is so in love with me. You know, she told me she would have sex with me. She's in, she, she had a baby. She got married. Yeah. She's still in love with me. But, you know, years ago, she said, I would have sex with you. Any t- well, I'll come into a room, and I'll spread my legs and let you f*** me. Really? I mean, she, basically, that's what she told me. You don't even have to take me to dinner. Nothing. No preamble. She told me, it's mine if I want it. Oh. That's how much she admires me. Now, there's an invitation. Yeah, which I turned down because I had already met Beth. And there's a fan. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a, you hear that, fans? How, how fans should be? And what I should have done was, um, well, I did just the right thing. I stayed away. <laughs> but uh, anyway, no, Jillian called Gary the other day and said she wanted to leave me a voicemail message. And she ended up leaving three. Really? Yes. I don't know if you want to hear them or not. She's Some like of Fans. She said I'm like a stalker, but um, like, a, but but she loves the show so much. And the one thing she points out in in all of this is that how much she hates Eric the Midget. Oh, you know that he's boring. But anyway, uh, here's Jillian Barbary voicemail message number one. Hey, Howard, it's Jillian. Calm down, Tiger. Not Jillian Grace. It's Jillian Barbary Mel Reynolds. Anyway, I just want to call and say um, thank you for the entertainment. I'm so ridiculously obsessed with your show, as you know, but. Um, over the holidays, I listened to the history of Howard and just how you came up, and you're just, you're so incredible, and I just wanted to let you know how riveting your, your musical interviews are. I, from Flash to Paul Anka to Duran Duran, but Paul Anka, I mean, only you could take an older guy, I don't care if he's an author or an athlete or a musician and just make every interview incredible and I just hate these overpaid, overhyped quote unquote journalists who pretend to get the scoop whether it's Katie Cork or Bubba Walters and um they never do anything. It's just it's all hype and it just sucks and here you are just flying under the radar, sort of, but not really. Um, getting the greatest interviews out of everybody. You are just you're incredible and I just wanted to tell you that because I think you know, you provide me with so much entertainment and uh, so many times I mentioned things that you've said on the show and or we've had people on after they've been on your show and we get two minutes with them and you had an hour with them like flash. And uh you know, everybody's so nervous to go on your show but you just get the best out of every guest and I just wanted to tell you that I just think you're the best and um Oh, thank God I have my serious back again. I've had it for a year, and I'm just so happy listening to you again. Um, you're amazing, period, bar none. You're the best at what you do, and I have no problem giving you credit wherever I can, because you deserve it. Now, there's a girl I 
you know, turned over in 50 different positions. She I probably really wouldn't think so highly of you now, though, uh, because no. you would have dumped her after yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and no. then she would have just <laughs> she hated knew that. you. I, I would have dumped her, and she knew it. <laughs> but you know, the thing that was most interesting to me about that whole tape mm. was the baby yelling in the background. Yeah, there's a nightmare going on there. <laughs> She ain't the girl that she used to be. That's but, right, the girl who told uh, you she'd spread for you. But she's very sweet, very nice, and she does mention me wherever she goes. So here in voicemail number two, she had a call back. She didn't get everything in in the she first. Did. No, it sure it certainly sounds like she got it all in, but, <laughs> and it's really sweet. I actually. What did she forget? It was very nice of her to call, but but here's what she forgot. Oh, my God, I'm that girl. I'm like John Favreau and Swingers leaving the voicemail. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say that you guys are amazing. And Robin, and I friggin' love Fred, of course, um, especially when he rips on Robin as Jim. <laughs> Jim Florentine, that's the best. Anyway, you guys are so friggin' entertaining. I wish to get rid of Eric the Midget. He's so friggin' boring. <laughs> but you guys rock, even though Artie and... Um, Ralph are just such haters to me. My God, you guys. I still love you. I still love you, Artie. You went your coke and your hookers and all your problems in Vegas and gambling. I, I still think you're really funny. Um, anyway, Howard, take care, and I hope to talk to you real soon. Thanks for all the incredible entertainment. You rock. You're just awesome. Bye. See? Why wow. did I say something wrong about her? I don't, I don't know. know. You must have said something. I, I but, think she's uh, hot. And then she and then she left a third voicemail wow. message. I don't even know if you want to hang for that. Yeah, one, but... yeah, I'm fascinated. Yeah. Howard, oh my God, I forgot to say congratulations for you and Beth. I totally Thank forgot, you. and I'm so sorry. It's Jillian again, and I feel like a You're sucker, <laughs> and I am basically. But congratulations, she seems amazing, and um, I met her a long time ago with you at the um, Stuttering John. Um, the fight with Gabby when I went out to Atlantic City. Anyway, I just saw Shutting Down last week. And I just wanted to say congratulations with uh, Beth. I just, she is a girl after my own heart because I do rescue dogs. Out here I do rescue animals and I've done it for 10 years, our pet adoption on our show. And um, I know that she works with North Shore Animal League and I just think that that's incredible. I love that you got a girl like that that's into animals and has a big heart. So, um, just congratulations. I'm really excited. I never thought I would see you get married again. Oh, God, I've been listening to you since you were married to Allison and through your single years, and I'm just happy that you found a lovely girl like that, that has a cause and that she has a big heart, that she's beautiful, but she has a huge heart for animals. I just, oh, my God, I think that's incredible. Anyway, that's it. I swear to God I'm not going to call back. Um, okay. Anyway, I love you. Bye. Well, you know, it's funny. I listen to that. It brings me back to that, that John Cabby fight. Yeah. And I'm standing backstage, and Jillian was in top shape, you know. Right. She was bearing the belly, the whole thing. Bearing the belly with a cowboy hat on. Yeah. And uh, I'm there with Beth. She comes up. She goes, oh, wow. I, you know, this, But this was a whole new romance for me with Beth. She goes, oh, you know, I really uh, a little disappointed. <laughs> and I was like standing there going, mother <laughs> what I missed. What am I doing? But uh, <laughs> listen, I, it shows you. I was in love. I turned it down. And believe me, I'm sure she would have been a wild ride this broad. I don't know. I you don't know. know. You never know. But uh, my point in playing that for you is Eric the Midget uh, got slammed. He doesn't slammed. realize. Yeah, Eric, he's a bore. You're a bore. And even Jillian says you're a bore. What? Oh. I don't give a sh what she says. <laughs> My goodness. Well, Eric's out of control now. Here, th Talk about voicemail. He thinks he's a gangster. He's telling Gary he's going to knock his teeth out. How are you oh, going to do all this stuff? The hell? You're playing messages from last week. Nice. Here, well, so what? What do you mean from last week? So what? We just got around to him. We're busy. Yeah, here's Eric the Midget doing his thing. Listen Eric, to this. Eric the Mafia guy. Eric the Mafia guy. Hey, Baba Retard, you ready to wave the white flag, idiot? Listen, big tooth jackass, you don't have a shot in hell of getting that girl, Kendra, on the show. So just give up. Okay. Save yourself the trouble. Save yourself the embarrassment. And give the f*** up right 
now. Don't try to ever call Johnny to get her number. Don't try to call anyone to get her number, especially a JFSC member. Because, see, unlike you people, we know loyalty. And we are loyal to the members of the JFSC. <laughs> and if they don't want to be a part of something, we don't force them into it. And Kendra does not want to be a part of that show. Period. Got it? So back the f*** off. Just admit defeat. You f***ing arrogant son of a bitch. Don't you ever try to get a hold of her again. Because <laughs> those big teeth in your mouth will be down your throat if you do. Wow. Got it? F*** off. <laughs> wow. Strong words from a little man. Why are you so afraid of Gary if she's not going to do the show? Why can't he do whatever he wants? Really? Can we set that fight up, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> and Eric, if your girlfriend's not going to do the show, how come she's on the webcam yeah, right now Yeah, why is she with there you? right now? Because she likes being with us. She doesn't want to be with you guys. <laughs> yeah, it sounds looks like she wants to be on with us. Dude. Not this at gets all. her on the show, Eric. No. Yes! <laughs> How does it get her on the show? Can your girlfriend hear me right now? No, she can't. You have to be in the room in order for that to happen. Oh, I see. Well, you have to cam it. up. Yeah, I got the cam up. You have to enter the room with the name and... No, I'm not doing that. We don't have time for all that. Stuff. I don't give that much of a sh**. What is it, Gary? I'm not really done with Eric, but I have to decide how cruel I want to be. I mean, I could force her to get on a show, but I have to I have to think about it if I really want to be that big an ass. But believe me, Eric, I could get her on a show. It would be ugly for all involved, but I could make it happen. No, you can't, Baba Retard. Well, then make it happen. What do you mean to be ugly? Don't what are you going to do? Don't challenge him, Eric. What do you mean to be ugly? I, I, could, I could sort of corner her into calling. Twist some arms? Yeah. Well, wait, 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 what? Uh, Gary's got arm twisting ability. I do. I have some arm twisting ability. Wow. Well, don't twist anybody's arm. I've got a mic coming off for a can't refuse. Come on, twist. By it. the way, Eric, I heard a little tape of your show last night. It was worse than the other one. <laughs> you got to hear this guy's show. So okay. How could it be worse? It's, it's, oh my God! It, remember, he said he had all the technical problems worked out. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play. This is our wait, show. Now, wait, wait, wait. We did on our end. On your end? What about the people who have to listen to that? Stick them. Do not have. Their problems worked out. All right, here is Eric Demidget's radio show, as heard over the Internet last night during right. American Idol. Take a listen, and you tell me if you think this show Everything had any improvement. Out. All right, listen, and don't talk for a while. Cause don't talk for 47 seconds, because you're going to think it's over. But okay. It, okay. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming in. Coming in. <laughs> this girl are now pretty good in the <laughs> red dress here. <laughs> the blonde that it's on. Okay, what's Paula on this this week? Good question. She looks a little high, don't she? As she did look go a little bit out of Oh, my <laughs> goodness. This is worse, Howard. I can't believe it. Eric, you actually managed to do a worse show than your first one. <laughs> Good going. I thought that was the worst ever last week. You're amazing. It gets worse. <laughs> wow, Eric. Like I said, it was not our fault. It was the fault of the server. The no. The meter is pinned. Talk like you did last night. <laughs> yeah, and the fat meter is pinned on you, isn't it? Listen to me, sweetheart. Get out of the business. Yeah. It should be the fat meter pinned on Hey, by the way, Eric, what did you call yourself last night on the show? Eric's a gay actor. Ah. All right. In honor of Heath Ledger or something? Why Eric the gay actor? We knocked that <laughs> off the pole. All right, what did you call yourself on the show last night? I'm asking you a serious question. Eric the <laughs> Eric the <laughs>
<laughs> Why would you do that? Because I didn't. Oh, then what did you call yourself? Eric the <laughs> actor. Oh, all right. All right. I think you called yourself Eric the gay actor or Eric. But you say you called yourself Eric the actor? No, I did not. Is this oh. more of those technical difficulties with you? Then what did you call yourself? Eric the songwriter. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, you're going with the song? Eric, yeah. Eric songwriter. Okay. okay. How is that song coming, by the way? Well, if you idiots don't back off of Kendra, you'll never find out. Oh, oh, threaten us by not playing your crappy song. Eric, I got a great new name. I got a great new name for your show. Technical Glitches Interrupted Every Once in a While by Utter Boredom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Eric, uh... Kendra's laughing at you, though. Yeah, I'm watching her on your video sc screen, and she's technically on the show because she's, wa yeah, she's she obviously on. on the show. Well, yeah. that's the best you're going to get. Good. Who cares? He's keeping her captive. We'll have to learn sign language yeah. so we can communicate. And I'm her. looking at that girl, Eric. There's no way you're... If she's your girlfriend and you're buying into that, you tell her to come f*** you tonight. <laughs> Oh, that smile is going away. Yeah, the <laughs> smile just quickly disappeared. <laughs> Why don't you ask her right now? Say, when are you going to have sex with me? <laughs> when can I fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, what does she call you? Eric's a beautiful angel. Oh. oh that's nice. And when she gets mad at you, what does she call you? Eric's a <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> Not even close. Well, what so, does she call you? Eric's a gay actor. Oh, all right. So Come she, on, when is she oh. coming to see you? That's what we want to know. Ask her when she's coming to see you. Yeah, ask What's her right work? now. If you're so brave, ask her when she's coming to see you. We are working that out. No, ask her now. Ask her now. You got her ear. Go ahead. Okay, Kendra, when are you going to come see me? <laughs> she's not answering. What's the problem? Well, no, she's answering him over that f***ing webcam of his. You're a shit. Well, she must be typing. Her lips aren't moving. Uh, she's typing when what monkeys, did she say, Eric? When monkeys fly. <laughs> yeah, not typed anything. Yeah. Okay, let me see here. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I don't know. Right now, I don't feel Jillian's right. I don't think he's boring right now. I love him. I, do I love him on I this cam. Yeah. By the way, you can see him on his cam <laughs> by getting on... What is it again? I don't know. The JF uh, something or other? Well, let me say it, Robin. The www.jfsc.tv. Not necessary for www. Well, did she write back to you yet? Hang on. I'm, at the, I'm trying to type in the room that they want to know... Oh, she's on the phone now. She's on the phone. Why can't you just talk to her? <laughs> she's probably talking to Johnny. She's on the phone with Johnny getting my message. Oh. She's well, probably on the phone with Johnny going, what do I say? He's trying to demand to know when I'm coming. What can we make her do? D does she do for money? No. Yeah, take off her clothes. <laughs> yeah, can we get her to, I don't know, f*** a guy or something? She doesn't do that. She doesn't? She just, All right, just, I just, just I typed in a room... Asking her when they are saying that they want to know when she comes see me. All right, so what does she say? She's busy on the phone with somebody else. All right. Well, when you get the answer, it, 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 you know, when the earth freezes over. <laughs> yeah, well, let me let me hear it, okay? Because I don't see this chick rushing to your bedside. And boy, she looks good, too. Yeah, where is she? In a bathroom or something? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's her apartment or her house. Yeah, she looks good, man. I can see why you're in love with her. She's f***ing asking for it, too, and I'm going to go give it to her. Oh, it would be so funny, Artie, if it's you went to Canada. Ass in that chair. Hey, 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 what would you do if I f***? That would not happen. Well, what, what, what if it did? I think hell would freeze over first. How... <laughs> Uh, it's getting cold. Where does she live? Phoenix. Oh, I'm going to be doing stand-up there at a big theater. Why don't you invite her to the show? Already? Yeah. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, oh, I can do that. Marty, you You've should... got to get to that apartment and get on the webcam. You guys should, you guys should f*** live yeah, on the JFC TV. 
JFSC TV. Oh, God, I'm gross. <laughs> hey, uh, Eric, listen, man, I'm doing uh, a big theater in Phoenix in about two months, and I'm inviting your girl. Yeah, right, whatever. Don't expect her to show up. You think this relationship will be uh, going strong two months from now? Eric, yes, did you... Will. You don't think she'd show up? Nope. Doesn't she need a night out? You're not around to take her. <laughs> hey, uh, what did she call you after she heard that song you wrote for her? Eric's a f songwriter. <laughs> I have not heard that yet. She will hear it soon. Okay. All right. No, okay. I'm telling you, I, if I got a book, if I can't do it, I'm going to book like a good looking comic who can f her. I'm <laughs> dying out just somebody f her. <laughs> Hey, Eric, uh, by the way, congratulations on your second Internet show last night. Uh, I know your idle commentary show is taking the nation by storm. Did the whole show sound like that? Well, let's see. I'll play another clip. And you wonder and why she doesn't want to do your show. What? And you wonder why she doesn't want to do your show, because you're a bunch of disrespectful ass wipes. Uh, we'll see. Thank Wait, you. we were playing clips from utter boredom. Huh? Gee, I didn't know that was the name of it. I thought it was Idle Wrap Up Show or something. No, it's no, utter around. boredom in the oh, idle, utter boredom in the movie. internet guy. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming in. Oh goodness. In. This girl. Close. Now on all. On all. <laughs> sounds the same with your so passport. When you listen to it, it sounded fun. <laughs> yeah, on our end, we do not hear the choppiness. Yeah, well, the, I don't the know listeners, where that's coming uh, from. It's well, <laughs> Eric, you got to fix the sound on the Internet, not in your room. Right. You're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we have a... The guy that we have running things has a higher IQ than you, fat ass. Hey, let me tell you something. The show I'm on, people hear. Loud and clear. Go ahead. We had two different computers recording the show last night, and they both sounded the same. Does every clip sound like this? Uh, Does it no, ever because I edited the stuff together to make it. You clear. did? Yeah, because. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I Who asked you to did. do that? Uh, nobody, but. You edited it together to try to fix it? Uh, well, believe, it's yeah. more believe me, it's more entertaining this way. Yeah. Uh, I just want to hear the show. Uh, I don't okay. need you editing. Right, well, go, now, go, go, go grab some oh, more clips. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, here's how in demand the show actually was. There were East Coast people showing up three hours early for the show. Yeah, and look what you gave them. You disappointed them. They tuned in for a plate of f***ing steaming Eric the Midget. Yeah, you care nothing about your audience. I mean, what did the people call you on the phone after they heard this broadcast? Eric the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's a popular one. Playing those dumb clips. I'll All give you one right, thing. Then answer my question. What did they call you after they heard this horrible show? Eric's a f actor. Oh. I'll give you one thing. Kendra's hot. She's beautiful. Yeah. I'll give you that. You got good taste in women. I was told you I did. Yeah, well, you weren't lying. I like them breathing. What a smile on her. Yeah. Hey, Eric, tell her to stand up and let's see your teddies. <laughs> Eric, what? Tell her to stand up so we can see her teddies. I don't know if you can in the camouflage shirt she's wearing. I was going to say she looks like she's dressed to go to Iraq. If yeah. you guys, well, uh, she's talking to Eric. <laughs> if you guys got married though, it'd be a mixed marriage. You know, she can stand up. Oh, that ain't fair. No. <laughs> Come on, man. What's your problem? Any fatter and you won't Him. be able to. What? Any fatter and you won't be able to stand up. You see, he's a mean little prick. <laughs> you were mean first. <laughs> You're right. Hey, Eric. Yep. Tell her to stand. She, you said she shows her titties, so, so tell her to stand up so I can see him. Let's see one. Tell her to get to work. <laughs> she doesn't show. I mean, I don't know. She's pretty to have the pasties on underneath, so she couldn't do that. That's Let's, fine. Let's see her bra. Let's see her belly no. and her bra. Hey, wait a minute. It's against. It's against stick them rules to show that's why I can't do that. Against what rules? Tell her to go get her pasties. She's at home. Yeah. Tell her to put a piece of paper over her nips. She gets what rules? Stick them. Stick them. He's got some. He's got some. What? He's always got, like, some thing. Stick them. We don't want the administrators of this website banning her for doing that. All right. All right. Aren't you the administrator? Just tell her to stand up. 
Go to stand up so we can see the bod. She's on the cell phone now. Oh, oh. let's see. Boss her around a bit. Oh, let's see. She's your girlfriend. She should listen to you. I'm trying to think of how to do this because. Uh, I, I gotta go. I, I I can't be here all day. You can't even get your woman to stand up. Another guy oh, who can't on. handle his woman. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck Zito can get her to stand up. Yeah, he'd say stand up. Uh, hey, Eric, good luck. Uh, your show, uh, I guess, was an internet hit, and uh, congratulations. I guess Thank you'll you. do another show tonight, right? And what is your message for Jillian yeah. Barbary, who says you're boring? Who the hell is he? I mean, you know, she's not a that big of a name person. Right. And How big a name would she have to be for you to realize you're bored? She'd have to be A-list. <laughs> Eric, uh, what do you want Jillian to call you from now on? Eric's a gay actor. All right. Then I'll tell her no. that. All right. No? What, then what do you want her to call you? Eric's a All right. Make up your mind. <laughs> Eric the actor. Okay. All right, Eric. Thank you. And bye. Right. Bye for now. They're gone. Bye. I love these Eric segments. All of a sudden, I'm just loving them. Well, you see, uh, Jillian might be wrong. I agree with you. Kendra and Johnny Frado are on the phone. Oh, so Eric's girlfriend is on there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, all right I'll, I'll pick that up in a we second. We promised we would be nice to her. Of course I'll be nice right. to her. I wasn't going to be anything but that. We like her. It's that little midget I hate. Well, he, he's, now, <laughs> he's now ruined because he said we could never get her on the show. Well, wait a minute. Gary's teeth are in jeopardy. He was going to knock her down Gary's throat. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I, in the email, I received some hate mail based on the fact that I spoke about Bobby Fisher yesterday. I want to read this email to you real quick in a minute. Here, here, okay, here's Johnny Frado and Kendra. Uh, hi, Johnny. What about the email? I'm going to get to it. I'll, I'll get to your call, and then I'll i am showing you some respect. To you. Yeah. Uh, Kendra, are you there? Yes. Hi, hi Kendra. There. Hi. Hi. Johnny uh, Frado and Kendra are on the phone. This is Eric the Midget's so-called girlfriend. <laughs> and, uh, Kendra, I want to thank you for calling in because Eric said we could never get you on the show, that you don't want to be on the show, and you would never, ever, ever participate in the show. So Eric was wrong again. Well, I wasn't planning on being on the show. It was, I, it, I don't know. He was, He's not 100% wrong, but... Well, yes, he is. You're on the show. Yeah, he, right. he's on. I think I think she kind of got talked into it. Okay. Well, Kendra, let me just say something now. Yeah. I, I like Eric. I know a lot of people are Eric haters, and you know they feel Eric's ungrateful in this. I feel Eric has a lot of disabilities, and Eric's a good guy. He's, you know, and I'm glad that we can provide a show for him where he can get on the radio. And really cut up uh, a bunch of people. Right. But Kendra, <laughs> Kendra, I have to say. You are a stunning-looking girl. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Uh, and that, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Howard, it's the Howard she was just in, in the, filming, or some, the filming of our pilot, and she's off the hook. Okay. Kendra, I, wa I don't want you to uh, break Eric's heart. Could I'm you, not. I'm not at all. What are we up to here? Let's, let me hear straight from the horse's mouth. What, what are you up to here with Eric? I... I... I starting out as just being friends with him and you know whatever happens aside from that is our business but it was purely i met johnny first and he introduced me he said i wanted to meet somebody who's really cool and sweet and so i decided to uh say hello this, and come in the chat room is a real nice girl huh? i understand she's a nice girl but kendra what? you are not sexually interested in eric are you well, that's like saying, are you interested? I seen a girl blowing Vern Troyer at the Playboy Mansion. That's a, a Johnny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Johnny, Johnny, I don't know why you're getting uncomfortable. I'm talking to Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> Kendra, I understand that you're fond of Eric the way I am fond of Eric, but Eric seems to believe that he has a girlfriend that you are exclusively his. Is that true or false? Are you exclusively his? That is true. Okay. Are you in love with Eric? Um, in love takes time. Okay. So you're not what in was, love. What was that? I love takes hear. time. Okay. All right. Now, do you have plans to ever meet Eric physically? 
In person, you mean? Yes. I mean, if he... he yes, under... I do. You do. When What's will the you... hold-up? Why is it taking... If you're having strong feelings for Eric, and you're not giving yourself to anyone else, what is the hang-up? 